So you've changed up your workflow. You've adopted this heavy session-based workflow in Tmux. Now it's time to switch gears. It's time to start a new part of your day. There are just too many sessions running and we got to clean up shop. Uh, the first, the first option we've got out of the gate here is one that I, I probably run more than you might think is just to nuke the whole dang thing. Tmux kill server. You can just pop open new shell Tmux kill server. They're all gone. Um, uh, make sure that if you, before you ever do a Tmux kill server, you diligently are saving and committing your work throughout the day. Um, another one that's maybe a little bit more reasonable is kill session. Um, so we can uh, kill specific sessions. This I think I've got an error here. And this should be dash T for the name of it. Uh, so we can pop open shell here. Uh, Tmux ls. We learned that a couple episodes ago that will list out the sessions. We see we have a scratch session running. Uh, so I'm just going to yank this and paste it in down here. Tmux kill session dash T scratch. Uh, no error. Let's go Tmux ls. Scratch is gone. Um, so that's a handy way just to kind of poke in go one session and move on with your day. But uh, killing many sessions can be a little, a little bit tedious. Um, so let's go ahead and create a bunch of section, sessions. Tmux new session. Um, oh, we, we would have to disconnect Tmux new session we'll disconnect and we'll do this a couple of times and now if we do tmux ls we got uh three new sessions here running that we uh, may not need anymore let's go back to uh, our post here uh choose tree is a pretty handy built-in that lets you do things with with different panes and sessions. Um, so by default, I believe it's con, uh, control B J brings up this uh, choose tree. Uh, so we can switch to session five here. Uh, maybe we will make a couple splits Move back over. Uh, hit, oh, uh, get rid of this uh, B J again. Uh, if we go back into five, we can poke in and we can see that we have a whole list of panes open. Uh, if we hit the X key, I'll say, do you want to kill pane two? Y will confirm X, Y. So we can go in killing panes on, on session five. We attach those extra panes are gone. I'll, I'll recreate them just for more example. Um, the other thing we can do, so X will kill one specific session, window, or pane. Um, if we do another control B, J, go back into this session five. We can also use T to mark. Uh, so I'll mark uh, these two windows in five, and we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of six and seven altogether. So mark those, and if we do a big capital X, it'll say, do you wanna kill all or tagged, yep, and those are gone. We're attached to five, and we can see our extra splits are gone. Um, let's go back. So that's pretty pretty handy built in uh, built in way. My preferred way. I like to use a fuzzy matcher. Um, I recently improved my own personal fuzzy matcher after seeing a reaction article from DJ Adams, he was looking at our uh, FCF jumper. He kind of broke it down and he had some improvements, especially in this uh, dash F uh, formatter section to be able to list out sessions without the current session being um, in there. So anyways, I have find K. So this will be prefix K will display a new pop-up and it'll Tmux list sessions uh, without the D, without the current attached session in it. 
only the session names, not the full uh, amount of panes and all that kind of stuff in it, just the name. Uh, then we'll pass that into an FCF reverse dash M for multiple. So I can uh, hit, uh, hit tab to mark multiple panes to be able to kill multiple at once. I'll give it a header called kill session so I can remember, uh, you know, maybe I mix up my key bindings and I might hit jump session instead of kill session. This helps me, helps give me a visual of what's going on. And then at the end, we'll pass this into xargs to tmux kill session for every session that we select. We do, a, uh, oops, we will get rid of this. Uh, control, uh, control BK brings me my kill session. I'm going to actually just kill both of these. So I'm going to do a um, tab, tab, enter. And then if we do a new split, tmux ls, we only have one session currently running. I can go ahead and close out these extra splits here. Um, and it, it's in FCF, so just like with all the good FCF stuff, you can uh, fuzzy match this if you've got a dozen sessions running. That's kind of handy just to scan a few characters and pull up the session you are currently look, looking for. Um, yeah, and that is Tmux, killing Tmux. Uh, I've got, I had three different ways here, or four different ways. We had the kill server, kill session, uh, using choose tree and a fuzzy matcher. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, as always, the link to the full Tmux playlist will be here, along with a link to the full article for this post.